Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how I made this giant rustic pom-pom wreath that I think is perfect for both Christmas and general winter decor. So you guys might know that I'm a little bit obsessed with pom-poms this season. I made some giant ones for my Christmas tree. I'm making some for this Christmas wreath. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I use some for my gifts as well. So I found this big pom-pom maker at Michael's. Love it. You can make a variety of different shapes and sizes of pom-poms with it. So I made about seven or eight pom-poms for this wreath. I just made them in multiple sizes. And I think that's the key to making a cute wreath is to make pom-poms, but make them in multiple sizes so two or three different sizes I will link to this pom-pom maker down in the description box below it definitely makes making these a lot easier and I use a really chunky yarn this is lion brands thick and quick chunky wool and acrylic yarn it makes for giant fluffy pom-poms as well I'll link that down in the description box below I also like to tie around the center of my pom-poms twice now. I learned the hard way that you definitely need to secure the center of these pom-poms, especially if you're making quite large ones like I'm making here. I'm also liking trimming my pom-poms quite a bit to give them a really nice round look, and I think that makes them look really professional and adorable. So here's my collection of pom-poms. I have quite a few for this wreath, and then I purchased pretty much the largest grapevine wreath base, base that Michael has. I believe this one is the 30 inch base. Next I went ahead and I placed all of my pom-poms in various sizes on the wreath. I'm just decorating about the lower third to the lower half of this wreath. So basically you just want to arrange them so that two of the same sizes aren't next to each other. So just try to make them as random as possible. Next, I'm taking some hot glue and applying it to the bottom of each pom-pom and I'm pushing them down firmly into the wreath base. So you really wanna put quite a bit of glue on the bottom of these and you wanna hold them and make sure that the glue is setting before you remove your hand to make sure these pom-poms are set well into the wreath. So once I was satisf satisfied with the placement of all these pom-poms and the glue was set, I went ahead and used these Dollar Tree Christmas bell ornaments. I absolutely love these. You guys have probably seen them at Dollar Tree. I grabbed quite a few last year, so these are actually last year's bells. If you don't have the Dollar Tree bells, you could also use white ball ornaments and you could embellish the tops of them. Truly use your own decor and design sense and use what works for you. The basic theme of this wreath is pom-poms and round ornaments so any sort of round ornament is going to work. These bells are very heavy so I made sure to apply a lot of hot glue to the backs of these and hold them a long time before they set. You'll see with this particular Christmas bell I did not put enough hot glue on it so it's slowly going to fall over the next few seconds of this video so you'll see what happens when you don't glue them enough. So yeah, no, don't do that. Make sure you apply a ton more glue to the back of the bells and make sure you hold them for a long time so that the glue is going to set when you glue them to the, your wreath. You may also have to put a little bit of floral wire, or floral wire or excess yarn through the holes in the bell and then you can tie it right onto your wreath after you glue it. That's also a great option to make sure these don't fall on the floor in the middle of the night. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Next, I found these glittery orbs at Dollarama, that's the Canadian dollar store, and I'm applying hot glue on the backs of those and attaching them to the wreath as well. So again, you just want to randomly place them throughout the bottom of the wreath, making sure that no two are very close together, that they're kind of dispersed throughout all the rest of the elements on this wreath. Dollarama also had these in a beautiful silver color as well, so that's also an option. Or you can use plain wicker balls. I'll leave some that I found on Amazon down in that description box below. I found these smaller wicker, wicker balls at Dollarama as well, along with this glittery stem in the Christmas section at Dollarama. Again, you can use whatever sorts of greenery or faux stems that you like. I just wanted to make this wreath look nice and rustic, so I liked how these looked like little twigs, but they still had that shimmery glitter to them. The nice thing about using a grapevine wreath is that you can usually slide stems right into the grapevine and only apply a little bit of glue. 
So I basically cut the stem apart and I'm just putting the pieces of the stem throughout this wreath just to make everything look cohesive and to add some texture and fill in all of those holes. And then I'm taking these smaller wicker balls. I liked how there were the larger ones and the smaller ones just to add that texture and that interest. I'm applying hot glue onto the backs of those as well and then filling any of the leftover holes with those balls. You could also use smaller objects like smaller Christmas ornament balls or you could also use little pieces of moss. Use your imagination to think about smaller items you could add to fill the holes in the bottom of your wreath. So after I finished decorating the bottom of the wreath, I took some wired ribbon. This is, I believe, two and a half inch wide ribbon from Michaels, and then I'm making a really sort of casual looking bow. So I'm looping the ribbon back and forth and twisting it in the middle about eight times to create four loops on each side. And then I'm taking another piece of ribbon, folding it in half and using this as the long tail at the bottom of the ribbon. And then I'm basically just tying everything together using some excess yarn from my pom-poms. I also cut off a small piece of ribbon to tie around the center of my bow. So I basically just wanted to cover up that yarn in the middle. So I took my hot glue gun, I folded either side of that smaller piece and then glued the ends together just like this. Once the bow was all finished, I applied generous amount of hot glue to the back of it and then held it onto the base of my wreath for a while so the glue would set and my bow would stay in place. You could also use some extra yarn to tie this around your wreath or some floral wire if you desire. I really like how casual this bow looks. I like how it has the fringe on the end so it doesn't look too stuffy and I think it really matches the rustic look of this wreath. Finally, I decided that my wreath needed a little bit more greenery, so I added some little picks. This, I believe, was a Michaels greenery pick from last year. I cut it into smaller pieces, and I'm just inserting it into the top part of my wreath. You can add hot glue to the stems if you want, or you can just insert them into the grapevine base. I'm also adding a couple stems to the bottom of the wreath beside the bow. Here's a finished look at this giant rustic pom-pom wreath. I had the perfect spot for it, that board and battened wall that I just created a little while ago. I thought that the wreath looked so nice here. It added a lot to my Christmas decor and the really large scale works so nicely for this wall. I'm thrilled with how this turned out and it looks so pretty in our Christmas home. I also had my friend Tracy come over and take some beautiful photos of me holding this wreath in our snowy yard. So make sure to check out my blog. I'll link down below in the description box and you can see all those photos. Now let me show you how I'm wrapping presents with pom-poms as well. So I'm loving just brown paper packages this Christmas, tied up with string, just like this song. So I just used some craft paper, wrapped up a present. I'm just using some of that really chunky yarn and then placing a pom-pom on top and tying the yarn right into the pom-pom just like this. Such a cute way to wrap a present and I think it looks so homey and sweet. Another way I'm incorporating pom-poms is I just found these ones at the dollar store or Michael's, can't remember which one, but you can find them at either place and I'm using a glue gun to apply them to the tops of the presents. This can be a little bit tedious, so you only have to apply a dozen or so to the top of your present or more, totally up to you, but I think it makes a present look adorable and it's not very expensive at all. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this DIY rustic pom-pom wreath and these gift wrapping ideas. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the wreath and the gift wrapping. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. And I'll leave some more videos that I hope you will all enjoy up in the top left-hand corner.